Hi, my name is Helen Wheeler. Um, I'm a community psychiatric nurse, currently working with older adults in the Dudley area. Um, I'm also the student champion for the older adults team and I'm a um, third year science mentor. Hello, I'm Joseph Davis. I'm a student nurse at the University of Wolverhampton. I'm currently on placement with community mental health team for older adults with Helen being my mentor. Helen, can you tell me how you became a mentor and how it came about? Okay. I became a mentor back in 2003, um, a few years after I'd qualified as an RNM. Um, I love to teach um, and I think it's really a vital part of being a mental health nurse that you pass on your experience and your skills to um, the new generation of students coming through. And what do you love most about being a mentor? I love to watch the progression. I love to, I'm very involved with the university, so I interview people from uh, when they're trying to get into the university. I'm involved right at the end, at the beginning. Um, and then I see people throughout their progress of their three years. And then as a sign off mentor, I'm usually involved right at the end of the sign off process. So to watch that growth, to watch people who come in quite naive or new to mental health and at the end of the third year, very good RNMs coming out the other end. Have you mentored a lot of students since you've been a, a mentor? Yeah, uh, I've lost count of how many students I've mentored. Um, I've constantly had students from 2003. I've always had students everywhere. And what would you say to anyone who's thinking about becoming a mentor at the Trust? I think it's uh, a very important part of being an RNM or a CPN. I think it's part of our role, part of our job, and I think everyone should be involved. It's changing slightly the way we're going to mentor people from next year. There's going to be more call for um, assessors and coaches. So it's going to change slightly how we uh, mentor students, but I'm very involved with that with the University. Thank you Helen. So Joseph can you tell me how you were introduced to Helen as being your mentor? Yeah so the University has a, a model called hub and spoke placement so you have your hub where you spend the most of the year which at the moment for me is more than water bushy fields and then you have spoke placements. For me my placement here is a spoke so when I contacted this area to have my time here Helen was assigned to me as a mentor she spoke to me and sort of taught me through what would, what would happen when I came here. Um, and then I came and met her. And how, how have you found Helen as a mentor? Has, has she been helpful to you? And uh, Helen's been fantastic. Uh, probably the highest calibre of mentoring I've had so far. Uh, so, yeah. And have you, you have you learnt a lot during your time with Helen? I know it's a shorter placement, but have you still learnt? Yeah, I, I think, um, so at the moment I've only actually been here for a week and a half, but I think what I've learnt in that week and a half has been completely invaluable. I think it has allowed me to be more of an autonomous practitioner, which I know they say is very important at the moment. Um, I think it's expanded my knowledge both of mental health in the community and things I can transfer to my time on the ward. Uh, and. Yeah, I, I really feel like it's taught me so much and helped me to be a better student and hopefully a better nurse one day. And do you feel you could keep in touch with Helen after your placement's ended if you needed any further advice and guidance? Most definitely. She's been very supportive. That's great. Thank you.